Hello, welcome to my yet another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be working on a sunset scenery with the fall colors, trees, there is a beautiful sunset. So, uh, to begin with, we are going to start with the masking tape and we are going to uh, Put the tape for our horizon make sure that you press the tape tightly so the color cannot bleed into it um, if you don't have this tape available you can also use a regular tape i've started working on the background colors I'm using dark blue color here and just going back and forth so this is our first layer of background very first layer I'm not very much concerned about finishing I just want to fill the whole area with blue color and then add some different shades of blue so I added a little bit of white and started to blend it I'm using a little bit bigger brush for blending here you can also use a bigger brush that helps a lot with blending now I'm going to start adding yellow in top and bottom I'm going to use a clean brush for that so I don't want to use my blue brush this is a different brush and I'm very careful because my blue paint is still wet and if I go there it will start looking muddy so I'm very careful where my brush goes if I accidentally go into blues territory, you will see that, you know, this uh, yellow will start getting muddy, dirty. I have red color. I'm going to use the same brush because yellow and red makes orange and that is one of the shade that we need to create the sunset background. So here you can see I'm starting from the edges towards inside creating a uh, upside down v shape leaving that uh, v or uh, yellow bright v shape in between you know so that it shows uh, like the middle part is bright so i don't want to color that part with orange or red on the contrary on the top part I will be going over all over with my red color because I need to create a sunset scenery there I'm using some orange along with the red and yellow to create a brighter shade of orange because I already have yellow in background I have red this will just brighten up because Sun has a lot of um, brightness in it further um, adding some light blue in the horizon because I need to create different shades of blue at the horizon to make this look more dimensional there are so many blue colors right if you think about dark blue light blue aqua blue many different shades of blue continue to blend the blue color back and forth trust me it takes 
little bit of time if you want to blend smoothly. Now I am taking some white and adding to that blue so it becomes a little bit light blue. Same I am blending it on top of my orange also because we need many hues of orange and red to portray a beautiful sunset. I am going to take some white on the top of the canvas on the both the sides and right and left and start making my yellow a little bit more dimensional. At this point I would like you to wait for the paint to dry and then once the paint is dry you are going to peel off that tape but make sure that the paint is completely dry otherwise the paint can seep in and then then you'll, it will be harder for you to achieve the result that you want so here I'm taking my black color and adding it to create the mountain effect so first I'm drawing a straight line and then I will start giving it a, a mountain shape so as you can see I went from right to left left to right and now after filling the whole canvas I'm slowly beginning to add the mountains make sure that they are not very high it's just a suggestion to show that mountains are in the background and they are very very far away so you will show some of the bumps not very promptly like those bumps will not be very high very subtle So at this point I'm almost done with the mountains. I've created few bumps that portrays the you know tall mountains in the back of uh, horizon. I'm adding some dark blue in the background just to give more dimension to our sky now I'm going to add fresh yellow color and I accidentally touched the black so it started getting muddy so be careful you don't want to go or maybe wait for black to dry 
uh, but I, I just started working on it so I made a mistake but you don't have to do that uh, you can wait until the black paint is dry <coughs> and start adding yellow below the black color Now that we have covered the whole canvas with the desired colors, it's time to add trees. I'm going to add the trees with black color because that's how they will look uh, when there is a sunset because of the bright light coming from the back side, they look dark black. So I'm using a medium size I'll say this is a number two round brush that I'm using here and then I'm going to create the tree trunk on the right and on the left I create a basic structure of the trees using this number two brush After drawing the basic structure, I'm going to take my thin liner brush and using the thin liner brush, I'm going to add the thinner branches which are in which gets thinner as they go towards the top of the tree. So if you look at my brush carefully, it's a longer brush, thinner brush and it is very useful if you want to create these kind of branches you know which gets uh, thinner towards the end and here carefully i'm making different branches this could be however you want use your create creativity at this moment i am just drawing out of my imagination however i think you know the tree will have branches doesn't have to be necessarily one way or another whatever you know just make sure it looks like tree and it has various branches going here and there some fat some thin some longer some smaller just portray the beauty of nature and enjoy having it that's the whole idea right the creativity brings out you know our love for nature and that's why i enjoy it so much because i can you know portray my love for nature such a beautiful scene beautiful scenery it is
moment i am ready to add my leaves in the in the tree and i'm going to use dark brown some yellow some orange but my first layer is uh, with dark orange oh no i said it wrong it is dark brown color actually not dark brown it is light brown well you can use uh, light brown also dark brown you can also have some orange some yellow so i'm just trying to you know uh, go randomly and there is nothing particular a uh, shape just dab your brush in the paint and make it look like leaf so just dab dab and the faster you work the better they come out the more you think it, it to try to make it look like leaf it doesn't work very well to me the faster i work it works better same way i'm going to draw the leaves for the tree on the right and on the left I will also add a little bit of black for the shadows so maybe you can add a tiny bit of black in your brown that makes it dark brown and uh, you know create leaves uh, towards uh, the bottom of the painting which are darker in color At this point I am adding dark shadows to the leaves to give it more dimension. So we always want to create layers. Layers make our paintings uh, realistic, more dynamic. It, they look really beautiful if we add multiple layers. So we just want don't want to do one layer of brown leaves, no. We want to go back and add some dark dark shadow areas. Then after this we will come back and then add some light areas you know some uh, highlights so the lighter part will uh, i will call it as highlights and the darker parts are shadows i'm to add some yellow highlights on the leaves because these are fall leaves so definitely they are going to be some brown some yellow some even red so uh, just take a uh, yellow color and uh, randomly start going around add to your leaves that way they are looking even denser and brighter
now we are ready to add our moon in the center of this painting so I just took a fresh white in the fresh clean brush and I'm trying to make a round circle just above the horizon so where we have mountains that's where I'm trying to go and create the full moon After I added the moon, the moonlight is going to spread over along the horizon. So I'm adding some white highlights nearby. The same white is also going uh, down below where we added yellow. Now we are going to start adding some beautiful shadows, highlights in the bottom of the painting where there is this beautiful lake. So I'm going with the black, oh, actually sorry, white. I will also add some yellow here, a more of you know red orange so basically trying to create a variation of shade you know that shows that this this water is illuminating Now I'm going to add some yellow to the moon because it's not yet completely night. The sun is setting so we need to have some yellow in our moon. After adding yellow to the moon, I might want to go back and see if I want to make any changes to the leaves. Do, you want, do I want to add some highlights to the leaves? I think I will add some highlights here because you know the you, yellow moon is going to reflect closer to the horizon. So I'm taking more yellow and going back and adding some more highlights here. Now since I did the uh, blending again, uh, my trees are not looking very uh, like black. So I'm going to take the black color again and go over the tree trunk, you know, uh, again the concept of layering because when you do the layering, it looks realistic and it gives another dimension. So please make sure that you layer your tree at least two or three times.
okay now i will share um, one of the technique that i have learned um, you know so i'm going above the mountains and adding some white highlights uh, this is one of the technique i learned from one of the art teacher that i have studied under uh, he told me that uh, going back and adding some bright light behind the horizon uh, makes it look you know very attractive once you look at the painting it will just stand out it will be eye catching so that's what i am sharing with you today after adding this white i need to brighten up uh, where the moon is so i'm taking some light blue and going on right and left side adding some more shades of blue here to give dynamic look to the painting now at this moment i want to make it really dramatic so i'm going to take some bright red and add to the top and bottom of the painting with my fan brush that will show how much of this water is illuminating in this bright red golden sunset so using the fan brush i'm going to add some bright red and the yellow and orange shades are already in the background this will make the sunset look like very eye catching and standing out same thing i'm going to do in the bottom of the painting and on top of the painting as well so we are almost towards the end of the painting i'm just checking if i need to do some more blending if there are any harsh edges or is there any areas that i need to look and fix uh, so i still have my fan brush uh, blending even more we are almost done with you know this project so this is how it is looking after i dried it i hope you like this painting and see this is how it it came out at the end i hope you try to create this please do share if you if you create this painting i'm really sure you are going to love it this is such a beautiful scenery and everybody loves sunset paintings so i hope you enjoy creating this thanks for watching bye bye